Nishant is asking your views on Perrier, please. Um, so I've read a little bit of Perrier. Um, I thought his work was very interesting. I read one um, translation of a book of his, and I was expect because people talk about him being this rationalist. And granted, I know he's like a very prolific writer and speech giver. Um, so maybe his other writings were more in depth. But my impression on reading this one book that was translated was I was actually shocked at how much of a rationalist it wasn't. Like, it was talking a lot about how the re reasons that religion are bad are because of, like, these different aspects of Hinduism. And there were many quotes about how if there was a religion that was altruistic, then it would be good. And to me, that's not, like, real rationalism. Um, cause that's not actually looking at the evidence for the claims being presented. It's more of, you know, looking at the consequences of, um, those beliefs. Um, but I do find him very interesting to study. Um, the fact that he's such a strong anti-natalist is also very interesting. Um, I know that he's very politically controversial and I know he basically started to go kind of senile in his older years. So a lot, my perception is, I could be wrong, but my initial perception is a lot of the more controversial things that people bring up um, against him are some of the things he said kind of going into his senility. Um, and there have been all these claims about his, um, basically wish or incitement to mass violence against um, Brahmins. And I have looked into this claim and I've listened to a recording that's supposed to be him saying these things, although I personally don't have the tools at my disposal, mainly being fluent in you know the native language in question, to really dig in and examine these claims myself. There isn't a like as much information as I would like in English. So based on the very, very violent anti-Brahmin language that I have read, um, I am hesitant to like fully endorse him and lift him up. Um, but overall, I find um, a lot of his other, it's, it, it's still interesting for me to read and dig into because I, I would like to read more and see if he makes better arguments for rationalism than what I have read, which I was frankly disappointed by. But the other things he says against Hindu and Hinduism are very interesting. Um, but uh, I am very, um, a major obstacle is just finding Tamil to English translations. I did have some people hook me up on Instagram. I have surprisingly have like a large amount of people from India following me on Instagram. Guys, if you want to follow me on Instagram, uh, link in the description. So if I ever post on my Instagram stories, like, hey, I'm looking for a translation of this, like three people tell me like, oh, here you go. Like within le less than 24 hours. Like I have I have my own like, really? little Indian army. Yeah, yeah. Or if I, I, if I post like a meme or something that I need translated, because, you know, there's like hmm. so many languages in India. Um, I'll just like wait. Post we it. can use that resource because yeah, I have yeah, some yeah. questions regarding. Like, can someone okay, tell so me I'm... what this says? And they're like, "Well, here you go. It's amazing." <laughs> no, I want to hear you. like people's takes on different Hindu scripture. Can you help me with that on Instagram? Yeah. Oh, blank name knows exactly why you have such a great support on Instagram. Here. Oh, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> sure. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.